Yo, what is up, my guys? Surreal Canine here. We're back with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores a Sky. Last time, we got the bombshell revelation that Daniel is, in fact, uh, Benjamin's brother. Of course, uh, he doesn't remember very much of it, but he will in due time. So yeah, they went, they went to the past together in order to uh, stop Ganon from uh, taking over the present. And the past. Chapter 16, A New Dawn. This, this is... What? Daniel, where... Isn't this where I met you, Daniel? It's like that beach, so that means... Could it be? No, it is! We're in the past! We made it back to our world! Yes! We made it, Daniel! Ugh. Hey, Ben! Jimin. Look, we made it home. Back to our world. So we did it? We made it through. Back to this world? Yep, this is where I met Daniel. Let's see. I think it was right here. This is where I found Daniel out cold. So that's what happened. A trip through time sent me into the eastern forest. And Daniel and I both reached a world far away from each other. Oh, that's right. There's a lot I don't understand, like the whole concept of time travel. Can you please explain it to us? You just went through it twice! That Does it really need to be explained? Uh, hang on, Abram. Aren't Daniel and Ben both, uh, like, wanted criminals at this point? Will I be well received if I go to the guild? Oh, I know. There's a good place, but it'll involve going through Captain Town. It shouldn't be a problem if we lie low and sneak through. Lead the way. Okay, it's this way. Here comes Team Charm has been unlocked. I just got prompted to save, game! Come on! <laughs> I guess we're doing this and doing the uh, special episode later. This cliff is known as Sharpedo Bluff. Sharpedo Bluff? Yeah, I think the king name comes from the fact that the cliff looks like a Sharpedo. As far as I can tell, nothing seems out of the ordinary. down here. I lived here before I joined the guild. Uh, go ahead. Let's see. This is a hollow chamber in the face of a cliff. <sighs> Glad no one wrecked the place. That's proof for how little notice this place attracts. Well, it's a good thing you don't have a mini metal in either of those barrels. Maybe better if we stay here for the time being. Agreed. But, Daniel, I never expected you to be that very same Daniel. Can you tell us more about that? Yes. Daniel and I were jointly investigating the plant's paralysis. Pokemon and a human paired together? You were brothers? Yeah. And uh, Daniel has a special ability like no other. We relied on that special ability to investigate the plant's paralysis. It played a vital part. By a special ability, you mean Chekhov's lens, don't you? Yep. But it has a drawback. Chekhov's lens requires the presence of a trusted partner. 
without that partner, the ability can't be triggered. Trusted partner. That's why we stayed together. Chekhov's lens is set off by triggers tied to places where the time gears are hidden. We needed to find out where the time gears were in the past. We needed his ability to accomplish that. Wait a second, you said there has to be a trusted partner nearby for the, for Chekhov's lens to work. But that was being triggered not long after we met. Your point? Doesn't that show how much you two trusted each other from the start? Uh, when you put it like that, it's a little embarrassing. In addition to that, Daniel developed amnesia. Upon meeting you, Aram, he had some... Your partner had someone to turn to. Perhaps he grew to trust you very quickly because of that. Oh, there's another thing I don't understand. Is Chekhov's lens triggered in response to only time gears? Yeah, the opposite is also true. It's not triggered in places that aren't connected to time gears. Really? That's not how I remember it. Do you remember that time it went off near... Uh... I don't I don't remember his name. <laughs> Let me scroll up here. Everdread, that's right. And during our first mission, and there were other times too, we went to places that had that had nothing to do with time gears. But in places like that, it was being triggered sometimes, wasn't it? Are you sure? But that never happened in the future. Chekhov's lens was never triggered by places that had no time to time, time to tie gears whatsoever. Well, if that's true, I don't know why it would work differently from here. Probably because time is working. Because time is working properly. Maybe I couldn't envision anything in the future because we were in a place that wasn't tied to time gears. <coughs> anyway, like I was saying, we were investigating a planet's paralysis. We used Chekhov's lens to identify the locations of the time gears in your world while we were in the future. That's it! Here! A time gear's here! Let me see. If you place the drought stone in Growlin's heart, that lifts the fog. Nice work, Daniel. After identifying the locations where the time gears would be in the past, we took the passage of time. That brought us from our world in your future to this world. However... Are you okay? No, don't let go! Just a little longer. Come on, hang on! Can't hold on! We encountered turbulence while we were traveling through time, thus Daniel and I got separated. For some reason, Daniel got amnesia and turned into a Pokemon. I can only guess it had something to do with our accident while traveling in time. I came from the future. And not just that, I came with the mission of preventing the plant's paralysis. I don't know, it seems so outlandish. It doesn't feel real somehow. So, uh, Daniel, you may not remember any of this, but... We were, were brothers. I got worried about you when we were separated. Glad to see you're safe. Your appearance may have changed, though, and you've lost your memory. You're still you. And none of this changes the fact that we're brothers and, more than that, friends. Oh, oh Daniel. Glad to see you again. Well, what are you waiting for? Give him a hug. <laughs> then you need to work on your feelings. Uh, like I said before, I'm going to go collect the time gears again. What are you going to do? I'm a little worried about how time stops in the region where the time gear is removed, but you're sure it'll only be temporary? Yeah, as soon as the time gears are set in place at Temporal Tower, time will be restored to its normal state everywhere. Well then, we'll go too. We'll go with you, Ben. 
Taking a time gear will badly affect the Pokemon that live in that area, but we have to prevent the plant's paralysis. All right, we'll go together. But it's late. I'm so exhausted from all the running we've done. We should rest up tonight. We'll leave in the morning. We all need to save. Oh, Abram has gone somewhere. Hmm. Maybe outside. What's the matter? Can't sleep? Yeah, just thinking. Thinking about Malleus? No, that's not it. Sure, finding out we were being deceived came as a real shock, but hearing your story earlier, Ben, it really drove it home. What Mally said in the future was really true. I made me realize that Daniel really did come from the future. I was mulling over things like that. Hey, look! Sunlight! It's sunrise! It's pretty, isn't it? Maybe it's because we were in the future for so long, but I didn't think a sunrise could ever feel so refreshing. The sun rises, then sets. We take that for granted, and it's only natural, but we take things we take for granted are really the most essential things. And they're precious. All I ever known is the future's world of darkness. Upon coming to this world, seeing the sun for the first time, it was staggering. Seeing it, it strengthened my resolve to turn history away from a future of darkness. There's one thing I wanted to ask of you, Ava. It's about that time in the future when we were confronted by Ganon. But frankly, we were in a no-win situation. seemed lost, you refused to give up. And I had given up. What compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? Well, I wonder too. I really don't know. But maybe, maybe because Daniel was there with me. Take a look at this. What could this be? It's an odd pattern inscribed on it. I've never seen anything like it. This pattern is new to me. This is a, my relic fragment. It's my personal treasure. I have this dream of one day solving the mystery behind this fragment, but I was such a coward I couldn't work up the courage to go to the guild and apply as an apprentice. It was then that I met Daniel. He, uh... Yeah, he was always there to cheer me up, and... gave me courage. With Daniel by my side, I felt like I could overcome anything. If that's how I came to feel over time, maybe that's why I was able to keep going without giving up. Alright. I think I understand what you're saying. Yeah, Daniel, there's something about him that makes others feel that way. The same way I care for Daniel as a brother. You also feel that way about, that way about him. He's lucky to be blessed with a friend like you. And at this point, uh, Ben would probably, uh, they might talk about it, about their other friends back in Hyrule. Uh, there's a hero working right now in the present time to, uh, try to get rid of the darkness, uh, with his own means. We should be leaving soon. They're not important to this, though. Not yet. Alright, it's agreed that we'll collect all the time gears. First, we have to decide which time gear we should target. <coughs> well, let's check the wonder map. From here, the underground lake would be the closest, I guess. How about Tree Shroud Forest? That's where I got my first time gear last time. Where's that? Over here. So, it's pretty far, but there's no one like Yuxi guarding that time gear. Oh, great! If we were to fight someone over a time gear, that would attract attention, but that would be a concern here, right? 
Exactly. Alright, that's where we're going. Onward to Tree Shroud Forest! Here we go. This is the entrance. Oh. Why is it? Yeah, this here somehow feels different from last time. I must be imagining it. We'll go in when you're ready. Alright, we don't even get to go to town to uh, you know, deposit our stuff. That's fine. Let's see here. Uh, still considered a gas. Here's Houndoom. He's a fire and dark type. He actually absorbs fire, so uh, yeah, don't use fire type moves on him. Ow. <coughs> Clunk. Deluxe box. Ralts is a pure psychic type. Ow. So yeah, uh, Tree Shroud Forest is a 20 floor dungeon, so uh, it's gonna get a little crazy here. Miss? How dare you. Ooh, a red gun. Cherim! Another grass type. Weak to fire, as you expect. Their, appear their form changes uh, when the weather is sunny. Oh no, I teleported! <laughs> um, this could be awkward. Where are you? Where are you guys going? Alright, well, uh, that means Ben's gonna deal with that guy for us. That's good. Here's a uh, Kadabra, another psychic type. And we were spotted. Alright, that's a dead end. <laughs> ben is in the room by the stairs, okay. Yeah. After after some point, uh, Daniel and Abram are both gonna trust Benjamin enough that they just start calling him Ben. It's one of those things. It's a monster house. <laughs> good thing we, uh, good thing we have this. Bye. <laughs> what poison? Curses. So yeah, uh, it's a good thing we have heal seeds. Why am I having 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. They, they got booked. Ah! Oh, do who? They got. Ha! This is just all kinds of rude. Um. What am I supposed to do about this? Unfortunately, Abram does not have discharge yet. Here, let's use a totter orb. Try and deal with these guys as best we can, I guess. Actually, no, let's get out of here. Oh, yes, yes, uh, Abram, do more of that, please. Okay, now I can deal with them. Level up, baby! Should have taken out another uh, maxil. Ooh, stealth rock. Cool. Better hope I find uh, some max elixirs, because uh, used up a lot of our PP already. I mean, I guess we can let our let the other guys do the fighting for a bit, but still. All right, that's a quarter of the way through. Ooh, white gummy. Well, you didn't need a shockwave. Oh boy, evasion. Scope lens. Uh, well, I think. I think scope lens is a pretty good one. Yeah, boost crit rate. Let's see. more worth my time to use a scope lens for a bit. Critical hits are nice. Torment. Uh, I seem to recall that not being a very good move, but... TMs we pick up now, we're uh, gonna be able to sell at some point. After this dungeon, I think we'll be able to go back to town. I got rid of these sticks. There's Sunny Day. Ah <laughs> You didn't even get to do anything in your sunny form. Fine. 
faux fear orb, but it would be good if we ran into another monster house. things we have the warp seed is probably the least useful. Vespa Queen! Uh, the evolved form of female combis. Male ones just don't evolve. Gone, one hit kill, yes! Unfortunately for you, Mr. Kadabra, I am an all-physical fighter. <laughs> oh, Swords Dance again. Ninetales! This is another fire type that uh, I think absorbs fire. So you evolve form Vulpix. right? Fire Orb? I think that's only a single turret orb, in which case I don't really care. <laughs> that is uh, definitely pressure. Back. Another monster house! All enemies in the room, yeah. Let's use it. That they will uh, leave us up. Aaron leveled up. <laughs> Good for us, I guess. Two monster houses in one dungeon. Or what? And a crazy town. All right, guys, uh, get out here and let's fight like uh, normal Pokemon. Not room clearing badasses. <laughs> Safeguard protects from status effects. Time for a max elixir. Om nom. That's so much dance. I resist fire, you know. You have a lot of HP. Oh, that wasn't a Vesta Queen. <laughs> I'm a big old dude. Dr. Doof. If you're gonna do that, I'm just gonna throw things at you. Alright, 
Alright, how many guys are left? Wow, we took care of all of them. Oh no! I tripped. Oops, there goes my... Uh... Oh no! Okay. Oh, it's a good thing I uh, picked up the things. Another Hyper Beam! Does that boost Abram's stats or just mine? It boosts all his stats, okay. What did he get hit? What did he take damage from? Oh, there's a <laughs> cadaver following him. Okay. Alright, let's see. What can I swap out for? Eat the berry, and that will be good. Whoops! I gave it to the wrong guy. Oh well. <laughs> I'm just playing like an idiot. Don't mind me, guys. Stun seed. at the point now where uh, the main threat to our existence is monster houses and not the uh, mini bosses. I'm still only halfway through the dungeon. False swipe is not a very good move. I think I'm at a point where I'm just gonna start leaving items behind. Unless they are super uber awesome. Apples are pretty awesome. Oh no! I just attracted all the Pokémon on the floor. Trap turns all items in the room into Pokemon. It's pretty rude. Joke's on you, I'm a physical fighter. Granted, I think my physical special attack is higher than my physical attack. Let's figure that out. Uh, yeah, my special attack is higher. Go figure. And again, I have a move that boosts uh, physical and not special. So make it out what you will, I guess. Feels like it would work pretty well in a uh, Zelda Classic quest. Yay! I win. I'll go up here to start with. There ain't nothing, Mr. Guy! Get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! <clears throat> so many guys! Gonna have to use a second good max elixir.
sure. Whatever. Warp Orb is good, but Spurn Orb is better. Roll Call uh, Orb is good if we get warped. Uh, not so much if uh, nobody gets warped. Oh, dang it. I'm out of stuff again. Why do these things have to have pressure? Like, seriously. Roost is good, but I'm not a flying type. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. What is with my luck today and just getting all the TMs? Like, <laughs> seriously. Oh joy, another one of you guys. There's a stirred <laughs> another vacuum cut TM, no thank you. It has already been established that vacuum cut kind of sucks. Just gonna let her sleep. Oh no. You can't fury cover me. That's incredibly rude. Yeah, no thing. Abram, you deal with her. Or not. There we go. Abram can't move for a while. Oh, does that does that include um huh? Thank you, Ben, for saving our bacon. Alright, let's see here. Shockwave TM and some more iron thorns. Oh, hello! I do have regular attacks. <sighs> it's my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh, hello Ninetales. Oh, wait, 
still confused. It, like, seriously, why the heck do you have such a powerful move? There's another Reviver Seed going to waste. Good thing we got like a zillion of them in storage. Another Vespa Queen. Good times. Why are you wasting a shockwave on that? Like seriously, dude. You need to learn how to do a thing. Stairs, all right. What is this? Time is still frozen. But didn't they just before we were dragged off to the future with you, Ben? You see, Mesprit, as of. I can trust you with the rest. Yep, we know. We got the time gifts back, and we'll make sure to return to our rightful places. The task is yours. Didn't Yuxi and his friends make a promise that they would return the time gears to their rightful places? But time remains stopped here. It could mean the time gears may not have been returned yet. And yeah, we'll see about that. The forest time gear was over here. But what's this? It's a time gear. There's no mistaking it. But time here seems to be stopped. No wind is blowing. See, those leaves are fixed in place. Time is stopped here, but the time gear has been returned. Why is this happening? Hey, what are you doing? Time is already stopped here. It won't make any difference if I take the time gear now. There's also something that's more worrying. More worrying? Uh, never mind. Let's leave. Also, Abram, there's something I'd like you to do. What is it? Before we go back to Sharpedo Bluff, I'd like you to gather some information in Treasure Town. I mean, the uh, Captain Town, you know. It's a thing. Here's what I want you to find out. Learn everything you can about what's going on in this world right now. Okay. Everyone thinks you've gone to the future, therefore... Yep, I understand. If they found out I'm back, there would be an uproar. I'll keep low and then get some news. And get some news. I'm counting on you. I'm back. I got some news like you wanted. What's the word? The word is not very good. After we went to the future, Yuxi and his friends returned the time gears to their rightful places. Everyone happy be was happy because they thought time would return to normal, but the time remains stopped in those places. Even worse, it's spreading. Time's stopping in more places. Is that true? Yes. Everyone's upset and concerned because no one can figure out what the problem is. Uh, Ben, do you know what this means? If time is stopping in a spreading area, it can only mean one thing. Temporal tower is starting to collapse. Temporal Tower gives structure to time, so if it's starting to collapse, time itself will collapse in ever-widening areas. This is bad. The problem is accelerating. The plant's paralysis is coming on fast. But we have to hurry, then! That's right. If we don't hurry, the plant will become fully paralyzed. There's only one way to stop the destruction of time now. We need to gather time gears. Then the time gears must be put into place in Temporal Tower where Dialga lives. But there's a problem. Temporal Tower is located in a place called the Hidden Land. As the name suggests, no one knows where the Hidden Land is. But there isn't any time. That's right. That's why I think we need to split up for now. 
I'll go collect the time gears. In the meantime, I want you two to search for a hidden land. <coughs> Understood. Is that okay, Daniel? Okay, then. You're in charge. The hidden land is supposedly somewhere in this world. No duh, Captain Obvious. Unfortunately, there are no clues as to where it is exactly. Considering no one's discovered it yet, we should probably assume it's quite far away. We might even con must even consider crossing the sea and discover the means to do so. I just saw a squirrel ran past, past my window. Cross the sea? I'm sorry I don't have any knowledge of how to do that. I'm counting on you. Well, I'll be off to gather the time gears. I mean, yeah, Daniel and Abram uh, took an airplane to Zitnia from Hyrule to the first time, but uh, airplanes haven't been invented yet in the past. And I don't know if any of these Pokemon have a, have a boat sitting around. Uh, for a time being, why don't we consider how we can cross the sea? Well, we just happen to be here at the beach, so... Eh, this is hopeless. A way of crossing a sea? <coughs> I'm not coming up with anything. I agreed to search for the hidden land, but... Where do you suppose we should start looking? There's no time! We need everyone's help. What? You want to go to the guild? Why? We disappeared in front of everyone, remember? Well, yeah, I think everyone would be really worried about us, and I miss everyone too, but everything we saw in the future, everything about Ben, and about Malleus, and even about your past, Daniel, if we tell it all to the guild, will they even believe us? What do you think? Do you think everyone at the guild will believe us? I don't know. Everyone especially thinks highly of Malleus. And I saw the future, but I still didn't want to believe the truth about Malleus. Even if we were to tell everyone the truth, I wonder if they would be able to accept it. But we should tell them anyway? Why? They may not believe us, right? But we should tell them anyway? Why? We need everyone's help. I understand. We can't find a hidden land on our own. We do need everyone's help. If we don't get their help, we'll run out of time to prevent the plant's paralysis. Uh, Daniel? Okay, you're right. Let's go home to, Wigglytuff, to the Wigglytuff guild. Let's go back to this guild. Let's go back to the guild and tell everyone the truth. I'm sure everyone will be shocked, but I'm certain they'll understand. Let's go home. Back to the Wigglytuff guild. Alright, time to save the game. See you guys next time.